Hello YouTube and welcome to another Zen and the Art of Miniature Painting video and in this video I'm looking at the Legion Mark II Crusade armor from Forge World. These are the marines that you would use for the bulk of your Legion if, you're, uh, if you'd like a kind of um, older looking heresy army maybe part of the Great Crusade. These are particularly popular with people who are building iron warriors or iron hands because they look nice and um, nice and nice and CG and sort of heavily armored and slightly archaic. So what I've just I've done I've just laid out everything that comes in the box or everything that comes in the blister um, for for this uh, for this 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 purchase. Um, it's uh, I won't bother with the details of prices and stuff. That depends purely on your. Um, your region, but what I would say quickly is just that uh, recently the the actual uh, right arm has changed. So the arms you see here are not the ones you'll be getting anymore. Nowadays they come with the hand with um, with the hand missing, so that because the hands are now molded to the bolters. So there's a slight variation, but other than that, there doesn't seem to be that much difference in terms of what you get in the box. I may be wrong on that front, and it may have changed, but uh, it is just something to keep an eye out for. So um, uh, you get five backpacks, which are identical to the um, Mark III backpacks. You get five uh, five legs and um, they they all seem to be unique. Um, I think there's maybe one one set that's double but I'll show you that when we get the closer shots in a minute. You obviously get five right arms, five left arms, uh, five torsos, five helmets and then you get ten shoulder pads. Uh, these are the shoulder pads that you may or may not be swapping out with your custom legion ones. As you can see I've got two loose bits here, they just come off the sprue gate sometimes. It's okay, it's not a problem, they're not broken, they're not damaged, it's just the way that it breaks sometimes in transit. So if you do get that, don't panic. Okay, so I thought we'd start at the bottom of the miniature and work our way upwards to the top. And uh, as you can see here we've got uh, we've got five sets of legs for your five marines. And they come in a variety of poses. Most of them are quite static, so this one here, and this one here, and this one here, and this one here. And they are flat-footed, and uh, they look like they're in firing poses. There's a duplicate here, and it's this one and this one. Um, it's not a problem. I think out of four, only five. Uh, sorry, for, for for out of a set of five, only you know two of them to be the same. It's it's, it's okay. Also, you want most of your marines in firing poses. So we've got um, one set of running legs, which is quite a popular one for sort of sergeants and that kind of thing. What's what's really nice about these, I think, is they've got a lot more of an exposed look to them over and above the the Mark III armor, which is really heavily armored on the front. Here you can see bits of the actual um, under armor kind of visible, like there's a bit of power cording or whatever it is. Um, it's a really nice uh, sort of surface to paint as well because you've got these breaks um, in in the plating. Um, it gives you an edge to highlight. Some of those big flat surfaces in Mark IV can be quite frustrating sometimes. What is different between this and maybe the Mark IV armor is that you'll notice there's a little loincloth section type thingy stuck here, a kind of cod piece if you will. Now I just thought what I'd do is quickly give you a bit of a, a demo as to why this is better than the Mark III set. So what I've got here is a set of Mark III legs. You can see the difference there, it's just more heavily armored, slightly more um, uh, flat surface on the front. Um, but if you look at the rear, they are very similar. You see the same kind of um, overlaid. Um, let me just say, so, just center that again. The same kind of overlaid uh, design, and even the same at the back here. So clearly, this is just armor that's had something slapped onto the front. But what's different is you'll notice that this one does not have the little codpiece section. Excuse the hands. Now this is problematic because uh, when it comes to putting torsos on um, one of the issues I had with Mark IV and I'll just excuse me again while I clear the space one of the issues I had with Mark IV was this is a Mark IV torso uh, fitting these on sometimes these can actually get in the way which means you end up with a guy if you want to seat it really really well you end up with a guy who's, who's got incredibly good posture and sometimes with running marines you want them leaning forward slightly and you just can't do that with this because this little loincloth section actually come, gets in the way and what we'll do in a minute is I'll show you quickly how that's not really an issue here. And these torsos, because it sits in like that, you can tilt it forward a lot more. You've got a lot more freedom because you haven't got such a long piece sticking out. So you've got you know you've got more of a sort of ability to pivot the miniature. Now this little bit here, this little overhang, is still going to limit you somewhat, but at the same time it gives you a little bit more freedom to just go forward some if you really want to. So that's quite good. And while we're looking at the torsos, uh, we'll do some quick close-up shots of there. So again, you get five, 
and they're more more or less the same. I don't I don't really notice much difference between them. Um, as far as I can tell, they're identical. Um, I may not be paying close enough attention, but I'll just give you a sense of a really close up shot there. You can see the riveting is beautiful, and um, I think again the sort of the overlaid um, these sort of overlaying. Uh, sort of slats of armour is quite nice when it comes to highlighting and that kind of thing. You get a nice edge highlight on there if you want to, if that's your painting style. Um, but phenomenal. And again, these little sort of, I don't know what they are, but these little kind of hole things here, um, maybe some kind of plug socket or something, um, for, you know, hooking into like a system or something. It's quite cool for if you want to do, um, you know, again, that, that sort of, that highlight that just breaks up the sort of blandness of colours which is problematic with space marines because you often have long flat large flat surfaces um, and that is quite nice again excellent detail from Forge World. and then we're on to the backpacks these are the same as the Mark III ones I can't tell any difference um, they're really great because they look so sort of old school techno um, with lots of cabling visible excuse my finger let me use something to point properly uh, lots of cabling there and you've got um, you know again lots of rivets and that kind of thing that's one of the reasons I like Mark III and Mark II armors because you've got a lot more of a bare bones kind of look about it and these exhaustion kind of things now I will say this uh, the cutting these off can be quite problematic because you might end up with sort of slightly wounding the the miniature so do be really careful and use a really sharp knife um, and just be really patient with cutting and trimming because as with most things forge world this resin is really expensive and what you don't want to be doing is cutting bits of it off I found with, the resin, uh, with some of these rivet sections, if I'm not careful, I sometimes lop rivets off and that's not a good thing. But, um, yeah, exceptional, uh, lots of edges to highlight that kind of thing, if that's your if that's your painting style. Now, this little sprue's only got three on, but you do get another one with two on, so you get five, obviously, for your, uh, for your set of five miniatures. Uh, and they are really, really nice. And then we've got the arms. So, um, we've got left arms, right arms, we've got five of each, obviously, because we've got five marines. <laughs> And um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the hands on the new ones uh, are missing on the right hand side because they're molded to the bolt guns instead. Um, and while these look very, very, very similar, you'll notice that actually there are slight variations between them. And what Forge World have kindly done uh, is they've put little indentations to match the arms with the corresponding arms so that you end up with a good fit rather than trying to ham it to see there you go so you just have to make sure that you've got the number of same number of dots in the same pattern matching up with the other side this is really good because i remember in the old days uh, when you used to build tack marine squads uh, being a total lemon i would go and just cut everything off the sprues and then you'd end up with arms that didn't fit each other and you're still spending hours and hours trying to figure out which one goes together looking at pictures squinting thinking well that one's you know probably 79 degrees and this one's you know seven you know 78 degrees which one fits better and you end up with kind of odd looking marines so this is a really cool thing and they've done it before um, and I really like it. Um, a bit of a messy uh, <laughs> cast as you can see there but again a sharp knife will get rid of all that kind of flashing no dramas um, and where the actual join is is quite good because obviously where this is on the miniature you won't see it uh, because um, it'll be it'll be covered by a shoulder pad which is nice because a lot of some of the tack marine stuff sometimes you get the join on the actual forearm and again that can be quite a large surface and if you trim it away and you don't not very careful and it's not nice and level you can end up with this weird looking sort of gouge in the, in the forearm uh, which doesn't look that great so um, well designed from Forge World there and uh, just a quick final thing, because this is Mark II, again, you've got that sort of very armoured look. Not as heavily armoured as Mark III, but very similar in design with the kind of van brace here. And it's really nice, again, with, with all these edges, it just means you can highlight it. And what I like, again, is, as I did with the Mark III, is this power cording here. Let me just try and get a bit closer so you can maybe see that. See that power cording there? That kind of allows you to put in break up the color some so some people do these black I like to do mine silver just to kind of show that it's sort of hydraulic or whatever or sort of cabling um, I, I really like these little details so there you have it and then the shoulder pads we've got uh, you get ten so five for each side left and right arm they're the same there's no difference between them and uh, again what they've done here is they've they've mounted it at a slight angle to the to the shoulder pad and I think one of the reasons for that is to stop that thing from happening where you so when you cut it you essentially cut it at this angle flat sheer to the actual face of the of the, of the shoulder pad and some of the tack squad stuff that comes on on plastic sprues because of obviously the limitations of that the the actual sprue grate is is perpendicular well not perpendicular sorry is, is in line with the sort of uh, back of it so it'll be going straight up vertically and when you cut that off you can sometimes end up with 
you know a nice a nice smooth contour and then a dent and then a carry on so this is actually quite a good design now um, I've not had any problems cutting these off but I know some people have complained that if you snip and you're not careful you actually lose the top end of this so do be careful um, and do do you know you just again with all things resin you spent a lot of money on this you have to take your time and be careful and finally we get on to the heads now these are some of my favorite heads uh, <laughs> and that's something odd to get excited about but actually I think that um, these are some of the most characterful heads I've seen so um, the one thing that sets the Mark IVs apart from the Mark III's is that you've got this thing where it's almost like a, a Cylon visor, you know, kind of a long, a long open visor there. Uh, what I didn't realize actually is that some of these, if I just, I wonder if I can get closer. Yes, I can. What I didn't realize is that some of these are actually um, have actually got nose pieces there, so they look very similar to your Mark III um, helmets, just a little bit less uh, reinforced looking, but still with that top crossbar section along the top. Um, they don't have the additional armoring. But uh, I mean, really, these are just so characterful. And so, for instance, this one here, these ones here have got like a, a weird, like nose thing that comes up the front. I'm not sure quite what they're supposed to be doing. But with, because mine being ultramarines, I'll probably paint that in gold or something just to break up the blue. Or I can just do it in my blue edge highlight, and then you know that'll just break up the monotony of the actual miniature. Um, so yeah, you get two with a sort of middle section between the between the eyes, so there and there, and then you get three sort of Cylon style helmets. And I really like these. I just think they're so characterful. Um, again, they look quite messy. You can see there's bits of flash on them. Again, a quick trim of the knife will sort that out. Okay, so just in closing, uh, all I'd say is that it's a fantastic little kit. This uh, there's a lot of um, potential to to cross pollinate it with the Mark III stuff, which is essentially Mark II with some extra armoring on it. Um, you know, reinforcement that kind of thing. Uh, and I really, really like this kit. So I give it a thumbs up. I think it's well worth buying. And I think that if you're going to do the Heresy, it's great to start off with the the Petrolic Kalth box and and then to start feeding in some of the Forge World stuff. I know it's expensive. Um, you know, it definitely isn't cheap. But I think that at the end of the day, it all kind of uh, breaks up the monotony of of, of an army, which is often um, you know accused of being really monotonous. Space Marines can be you know very much the same. But in this instance, actually, I think that um, Forge World have, have done a good job by breaking things up into various kinds of armor in um, making them, you know, adding variation to an army that is otherwise quite generic. Thank you for watching. Um, I, I do realize these videos can be a little bit long, um, and feel free to skip through them. Uh, if, you, um, if you're not subscribed, please do. Um, check out the blog, please. There's lots of stuff goes on there that doesn't come onto YouTube because it's not necessarily video friendly. And... Uh, Please stay tuned, and uh, as I get more more pieces of Forge with stuff, I will be uploading uh, my my thoughts and my reviews on on here. And if nothing else, hopefully they give you a sense of what's in the box um, and a nice up close, which sometimes can be better than just looking at the Forge World website. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.